Hey, how you doing out there people? It's M0 YKS coming back with you on a little update on the uh, amplifier project. So, as you're aware, one or two issues occurred uh, last weekend when I lost uh, possibly a valve and, and then it caused a, a short on the uh, on the high voltage side. So, it's been a busy week. I've been uh, doing a bit of uh, inquiring and I've had a lot of response from you guys, which has been well appreciated. Uh, and uh, I've got quite a bit of uh, work going. So, Managed to get in touch with uh, a local uh, uh, expert on Russian amplifiers, Pete, uh, from over in Leeds. So he's a very knowledgeable gentleman and he's been giving me some excellent advice, uh, giving me a few uh, tips using some video and uh, stuff like that to talk to me and, and tell me what to do. So I've been hard at it. So one of the suggestions uh, that the amplifier, obviously it's a... Uh, the tube is the um, GI7B tube, which is a ceramic tube. This is a faulty one. Uh, and these are two gig tubes, apparently. They work on the uh, VHF bands and UHF bands quite nicely. Uh, and uh, they kind of work pretty good on HF as well. So with that in mind, uh, the first thing that Pete uh, mentioned to me, I'll just uh, grab this part, was the, uh, the fixing point. So the fixing point on the actual uh, valve is the uh, valve clamp I've taken them, I've since taken them off so that's how it fixes to the body of the uh, side of the amplifier which I'll show you in a minute and interestingly enough this could act like a, a 2 gig antenna stub so he said that it could actually cause a few problems which makes a bit of sense a few ha unwanted harmonics and then a, a second thing that he picked me up on was uh, obviously uh, some of you guys mentioned it's a no-no to solder the connections on the bottom of the ceramic valve with the uh, anode and cathode connecting bars. I'm not actually getting to know what I'm talking about now. I'm learning quite a lot. Uh, and uh, so the advice from Pete was to make some copper ones. So that's a little project I've been doing today. So I've already fitted two and these are gonna be a much nicer affair and they will make contact and they will sit on there nicely and they can be soldered up to the uh, linking bar for the anode and cathode. So it's all looking good, so I'm just gonna um, put a little indentation so that's a nice snug tight fit so I've already managed to put one on the bottom which was the problem anyway uh, but it, I had a clamp on that one but on this particular one it was a soldered joint so we've now rectified that and I'll show you what it looks like in a second so things are looking good so the next thing I'm going to be making now uh, I've, I've also been instructed that the cooling systems all to pot and uh, rather than blowing air upward it's better to have the uh, valves cooled from the top, blowing down. So I've since uh, removed the fans. So we've got the fans off. Got them right here now. There's a couple of uh, fans which came out of the bottom of the amplifier. So they've now been removed. I did that earlier. And I'm, I'm uh, in the process of building a, a nice fan assembly. So I'm going to knock something up and uh, stick that up at the top of the amplifier. So I'll show you that, what plan for that is as well. So another plan that I've got to build, so I'm on quite a few stuff on the go, uh, is uh, this suggestion. So I've got a bit of a drawing. I've just knocked up this little bit of a drawing up before you can make a bit of sense out of this. So this is going to be uh, the, the part which is the housing for the uh, ceramic valves. So rather than having them fixed on that bracket which I showed you, which is this one here, let me just get it. So rather than using this uh, like pipe type of bracket affair, which was uh, acting as an antenna stub, possibly, uh, which sounds sensible to me. We're going to be uh, mounting them straight through some uh, mounts, which will be on a piece of aluminium plate. So it's going to look like that. And that's going to sit in the bottom of the amplifier. So it's going to obviously give a really good, excellent ground to the valve, much better than that. And it's also going to dissipate some of the heat as well, with it being a nice aluminium tray. So I've worked out what I need to do. There's my sizes and dimensions and the little sketch i've put together so that's my next mission which i'll be doing i might even start it tomorrow or possibly do it properly next week so that's the situation so far so i've got a few things on the go must say i'm really enjoying myself and uh, learning lots and lots and lots and uh, obviously working safely as well and uh, getting lots of expert support so that's the way to do it guys don't try it if you can't get the uh, correct support and you know what you're doing so here we are, the amplifier is looking rather bare, <laughs> now I've removed everything, so I've got all the uh, the valves out, the unit's uh, empty, which is the best way to start the problem solving, uh, and uh, it's probably going to be 
uh, a diode actually down here I'll, I'll show you what the suspected diode looks like it's more than likely going to be a diode around this area just in there if you can see that that's possibly uh, something we've got to replace uh, but anyway so what have I been doing so as you can see the fans have, have been removed I'll just get out of the light the fans have been removed and now I'm uh, I, I, the clip that I'm working on I'm going to do this one next that's going to get replaced with the copper one I've just showed you uh, but I've already done that one so the ones underneath I've done both of those if you can see them so I'll just take a quick zoom in for you one second so yeah there's a there's a bottom clip so I've soldered them on a uh, much better job and they're just they're a nice tight fit so that's the, the very bottom one before it was going to be a soldered connection and some of you guys advised me, told me that obviously it could damage the valve, uh, which makes sense. So that's not going to happen. That's going to be pushed on and very, very tight, snug connection. So I'm going to change that one next for the copper one. And obviously the copper is a much better conductor. So then this uh, tray is going to slip inside this area here. So you're going to imagine a uh, aluminium tray across the uh, chassis of, of the valve housing unit and that's where the valves are going to sit so the valves are then going to rather than have this bracket on i'll just drop that off the valves are going to drop through through that one locate into that new one i've just fitted and they're going to be sitting like that on a aluminium box which is going to dissipate a lot of the heat it's also going to shield any unwanted rf radiation from the linking anode and cathode bars at the same time so that's just a little update of where I'm at and it's all going pretty good actually I'm really enjoying it once I've got all that uh, sorted out uh, I'll be working on the fan top so this is the top of the casing I'm going to be uh, probably making a brand new one and then I'm going to cut some a slot in it I'm going to build a nice uh, top scoop and mount these fans directly into that so I've already disconnected the wiring for that and uh, I'll use the same existing fans which were in the bottom and put them back in the top and that will blow down from the top on top of the valves which will be sat here on the new aluminium plate which will be sat snug in the bottom which will have a much better ground so that's the situation guys and girls on the amplifier so far so yeah a little bit of waffling on but hopefully uh, well at the moment it's actually thundering and lightning outside so it's not the best time to switch the radio on so I'm good doing this kind of stuff. So I'm really enjoying myself and uh, I'm going to do a little bit more and uh, see how far I get. But I'm getting to the stage where I'm going to be doing the metal working now. And we all know that's the bit that I do best. So for now, I'll catch you on the bounds when the lightning stops. And uh, thanks for all the support and help. Um, keep watching uh, and it won't be too long before we get this, uh, this old bird back up and running again. I've actually uh, ordered some new valves. I know that I said I'll put, in, so I'll put some in the other week, or last week, but um, they've been hanging around for quite a long time, and I've got no idea whether they got damaged or what the state of play is, so I'm not messing around, I'm just, they're only cheap, that's why I got the Russian uh, GI7B amplifier in the first place, it's, it was something that uh, I thought would be a project that could be worked on. Didn't expect it to be getting worked on by me, of course, but uh, it's great to be getting the support, and learning all about it so who knows i might uh actually pick some of this up and remember it and be uh, uh up for this kind of thing so obviously i'm waiting for for my friend pete to come across and and plug his uh, high voltage meters in and and do the uh the, the problem solving which he's already got plenty of ideas of what to do and telling me that it's not nothing to worry about and it's going to be uh, all sorted so i'm just going to carry on having fun building these bits and pieces changing it and getting it to the best I can and uh, hopefully you'll hear me on it real soon so that's a quick update just thought I'd come in because obviously you're all wondering what I'm up to so I've been on the air actually every night uh, down on the 80 meter band so I'll catch up with you soon some of you guys hopefully if I come back with a live stream tomorrow night 73 enjoy the rest of the weekend